Hey, what's up guys? So, uh, let me just walk you through a typical day here at May Not Muay Thai Gym in Chiang Mai. So I wake up around about 8 or around 8.30. It's pretty casual. Um, you can run if you want to, um, but I don't. Uh, it's suggested that you should run probably, well the way the Thais do it, they run 10Ks in the morning and then for the afternoon session they run 5Ks. Um, but if you're a Ferrari beginner like me, then you can skip that because uh, chances are that, you know they're doing six days straight so um, you know pace yourself so I was quite lucky um, in terms of just being maybe two or three people in the morning um, but I'm also quite unlucky because I fucked my foot up on pretty much the first day and the pain from my ankle through to the top of my toe on my right foot has just been bugging me pretty much throughout the whole time since then. Um, but you know, what do you gotta do? If you're already, you already paid for the station and you just, just work around those areas, you know. So I thought like, at least I'd get the skipping down, right? But um, no, Kremenop came around. He's like, no, you're not skipping properly. Um, and he told me you can have your arms down a bit, uh, wrist out. So the top part of what I'm doing, oh, it hurts. Top part of what I'm doing is correct. Um, not so much the footwork I've got going on. You can see my legs kind of bouncing up like that. That's not correct. Um, it's better just kind of just bounce on the spot with both feet. Um, I hope I do a better job over here. Yeah, there we go. So. That's typically what you got to do, but you got to do that for 15 minutes. When I came in here, I pretty much was like a clean slate. So everything from like, you know, a left, right, you know, so like a teep, like that all had to be corrected. Um, but that was, all, that was okay to really get in. The, the more harder things that I found really difficult to do was uh, more so the knees and the beautiful roundhouse kick. Uh, I don't think I ever got that down and I guess you know it's good that I got these recordings so I can um, go back on them and like take a better look. Yeah it's uh, it's great with Krubin Up. you can see him in the mirror then. Um, he'll come over and he'll break down every little form, every little mistake you're doing and when you think you got one thing fixed you know you fucked up on something else. Um, and that's cool. I really, I really enjoy that. I really love the technique. See, that's a shitty roundhouse I just threw. And I'll just get out of frame here. So uh, with the five rounds on the sandbag, um, you can kind of mix and match what you want to do around, do here. Uh, you shouldn't really just go hardcore for the first round because um, you'll probably burn yourself out. So a good friend of mine was just saying, you know. Maybe for the first round, you should try fighting like um, the Moy Fima style, everything long, you know, everything, good footwork, nice teeps, nice roundhouse kicks, and then the second round, you know, try Moy Cow style. Um, as for me, I'm not too sure what I'm trying to do in this video right now. I guess I don't want to be a standing target too much, um, so I want to move around the bag a bit more um, after every combination I've finished throwing. Also, I don't want to be too predictable with my combinations, um, such as the 1 2 and the hook, which I've been throwing. Oh, yeah, so you see that weird kick I'm doing there? Um, so there's a purpose for that weird kick. So it's supposed to be like um, you fake a roundhouse and then you go for a teep. It's uh, one of those Sang Chai specials that Criminop knows how to do. Um, of course, yeah, so my right foot is fucked and I'm just throwing wrong with it. Um, not too fucked that I can't throw maybe at least like 70% on it. Um, here I am just trying to change my rhythm a bit um, and dart out of distance. Uh, it's, it's quite weird looking at yourself because when you're throwing the combinations um, you feel like oh yeah I'm throwing these pretty fast. Uh, but when you look back on it in the recording you're like fuck I actually throw it really slowly. Uh, also I just want to have some time to get that Muay Thai rhythm down as well. But you know I'm really not trying to do anything fancy here, I'm just doing it, doing, trying to perfect the things that they've shown me and 
you know, I've got a very long way to go. Um, but, no, I mean, oh yeah, here's another helpful tip. Find this bag, you know, to soft this bag, and then you wouldn't have to fuck yourself up. Because there's, um, there's a few of those bags out there that just destroy your shins. So this is my one-on-one -on -one pad session with the legendary crew Monop. So it doesn't matter if you have 100 fights or 0 fights, he'll train you the same way. And he mainly got me doing this move here. So um, I try to pause a bit, because he does, you can hear him correcting me. So I think what he's saying here is he wants me to step forward, kick and then return to the exact same position again, the exact same standby position. So he's saying uh, no power, control. So I'm probably only kicking probably 50% here. Oh, this is a really good point he makes here. He's saying don't throw your whole, don't give them your whole hip. Don't overcommit like that. Just throw a bit. Also with being injured, it really forces you to throw the technique correctly because you can't throw too much power into it. So what I really like about this is that this is actually just a really simple basic um, roundhouse kick but if you really want to get it perfect there's so many different nuances that you have to get correct. So yeah, this is like very slow, no power, but you know, you just everything he wants technically correct. Thank God for that, because if I was throwing with a hundred percent, my foot would be just fucking destroyed right now. And uh, I mean, pretty much this video is just three rounds of um, throwing the same kick, and I was doing this for maybe like a week and a half before he starts getting me to do like teeps and one twos and stuff yeah I quite like, like, quite like how he just um, he notices everything and you know, picks up on the smallest little minute details there's another good thing he tells you um, just to relax you know sit by sit by you know get into that Muay Thai rhythm and don't be so tense you know it's a good way to conserve energy as well. That's right. So yeah. that stepping foot, and then return back to the same yeah. position you start off with. So you, you kind of want to step a little bit off to the side, and you know, still be quite vertical. Don't be off balanced. Oh yeah, so my uh, right shoulder he wants to kind of point almost to the center of him but he doesn't want my hip to come past the center of his body. Yeah, sit by, sit by man. So I'm not too sure if um, some of you guys are watching this is probably getting frustrated with me not getting the technique correct. Uh, I can assure you I was getting frustrated with myself too because I really wanted to get that kick right. And I um, just wanted to show that equipment up that you know I can throw a decent kick but I guess you know I still got a long way to go. Sometimes you forget you know the guy who's actually teaching you is um, Sanchai's main pad holder and uh, also the head trainer at Yolkao back in the day. You can imagine I'm a little bit nervous. So what he wants me to do here is he wants me to, uh, after I finish my kick, don't just slam my foot back on the ground and land flat footed. Try to, um, after I've thrown it, land on the ball of my feet so I'm ready to reload and kick again. 
so this is a uh, 50 straight knees um, I'm actually quite happy once I get to this stage because it uh, means I'm almost at a home straight but uh, even this you can't really coast it too much because uh, you never know where in crew or not or the other crews might be watching you so ideally what you want to do is you want to bring those hips in more and keep that standing leg straight otherwise um, what ends up happening is you probably just end up kneeing the guy in the nuts uh, which I have done in the sparring sesh so you know sorry <laughs> Also a quick note, um, when you go back to the standby position, or the, you reset your position, um, you know, you have to stand on the ball of your feet. And you can imagine doing this for like a week and a half, your calf muscles are pretty sore by then. So Kribbenop is demonstrating how to throw this knee properly, as you can tell by his body posture, and um, just looking at the silhouette, you know, everything just looks perfect. Yeah, unlike my one, um, as you can see, my back and my hips um, are too uh, too straight, and it needs to kind of be more on a 45 degree angle, and my legs need to be standing a bit more straight too. And you or you hit the same target, so you notice that I'm pretty much trying to make the same dent in that part of the bag right now, same spot. Um, probably should aim a little bit more higher because uh, if that was an opponent, they'd probably get the nuts. Uh, this is my favorite one because in this one you can actually kind of take your time on it. Um, now I got one really good side and a one really bad side. So I got a really good uh, right side. For some reason I can really I can really draw my knee into that. But on my left side, I feel like no. Well, when I first started, I had no power on that. I just kind of just like slapped the bag. Um, but. You see, like, Grimnop just judging me there. Judge away. So, uh, by now, uh, we're almost to the end of our exercise. And I'm um, just throwing 100 tapes to the bottom of the bag. Now, I'm, I know I'm rushing this a bit because I know that after this, I've only got maybe 50 more setups to do. Um, but please don't do what I do, do it properly, right? But what you really want to do is. Um, you really want those hips to kind of push out a bit more and you, you want to wait for that bag to swing back and then you re tip it again. So um, this is uh, Kuru Manop's gift of the day. So each day he teaches us or he shows us one new technique and then you could use that technique um, as you build on. I'm not too sure what we're trying to do here but um, I thought it was like I kick, he kick, and then that's what we do. We alternate, right? But I think what Kruma not wanted us to do was to build momentum quicker and quicker and quicker. And luckily for us, we can use post production. It should look like this. So I don't normally do any of the afternoon sessions but you know I do hang around a gym and I just like to film or just check out what these guys get up to. Um, here we can see Crew Joe and Crew Tang in the purple gloves um, just having a friendly sparring session. So that's what I love the most about these tyres and how they spar. You know everything is just very controlled, you know they're laughing, you know they're not really going 100% uh, they don't even wear mouth guards and I don't think they even have wrist wraps or anything like to them sparring is just I don't know having fun um, and Crew Tang is an amazing athlete so is Crew Joe I think both of these guys are champions in their own rights it kind of blows my mind sometimes when you think back about it um, you actually got to jump in the ring with these two and you know they've had like 400 fights or 300 fights and um, you know you could just spar with them and you could rest assured that you'll be totally fine because you know they don't have any egos in there they're just there to help you out have fun um, I don't know maybe I got lucky you know but um, you know I think sparring should definitely be more like this and you know they let you get some shots off on them so that's always a bonus
So, what's up guys? Um, it's my fourth day in Thailand. Fourth day in Thailand, and um, as you can see, to save a bit of money, um, I'm going to do my own washing here. You know, people say that you come to Thailand, you can live off you know, all your wealth. The truth is, I think a lot of um, tourists, or just, you know, backpackers and stuff, just, um, I think they underestimate all the cost that goes on in Thailand. And, um, yeah, so I'm just going to do some washing and I'll probably update you guys a bit more on what I'm going to end up doing today. <coughs> yeah. So. Think about it like cooking, you know, just mash it up. And just to rinse it out, and just like a jujitsu, you know, just imagine as a key, just 